What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at how to subtract large numbers. Let's waste no time. Let's go. Okay, in today's lesson we're going to remember, don't forget your column titles. When we're looking at big numbers like this, it's going to be really helpful to put our column titles above our column method so that we don't make any small mistakes. Let's see what I mean by that. So our first question is 4,628 subtract 1,461. So we're working with thousands, which means when I put my column titles, I'm going to need ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. Now I can put my numbers in place. I have 4,628 subtract 1,461. Now something very important about subtraction is subtraction is what's called not commutative. It's really important which way round we do the question. If it says 4,628 subtract 1,461, we need to write it as 4,628 subtract 1,461. If I put it the wrong way around, I'm going to get a totally different answer. And that's going to become very important in a minute as well. So now I'm ready to start. I'll put my equals row. And I can begin with my smallest value, which is my ones in this case. And my first question, therefore, is 8 subtract 1. 8 subtract 1 is 7. So in my answer row, I can put 7. Now in my tens column, I have 2 tens subtract 6 tens. Ah, now I have a problem. Because look, if I have 2 and I try and subtract 6, I can't do it. If I have 2 apples and I try and take away six, I can't. I can only take away a maximum of two. So what can I do? Well, luckily, I have some friends next door that I can borrow from. But let's understand exactly what's happening here. This question looks like two subtract six, but it's actually 20 subtract 60, because it's in the tens column. Two tens would be 20, six tens would be 60. So what I can do is I can look next door to my big brother and I can see I have a hundreds column. And at the moment I have 600. So I can just say to my friend next door, excuse me, can I borrow one of your hundreds? And that would mean this is now 500 and I'm going to borrow a whole hundred. So I've now added a hundred to this 20, which makes it 120. So now my question is 120 subtract 60 or 12 tens subtract 6 tens because remember we're working in my tens column and 12 tens subtract 6 tens is 6 6 tens so my answer in the tens column would be 6 thanks to borrowing from the hundreds column now I can look in my hundreds column and remember that this is now a 500 because I had to give away that, that 100 to the tens column so now I have 500 subtract 400, which is 100. Put the answer in the answer row. And finally, in the thousands, I have 4,000 subtract 1,000, and that equals 3,000. So my answer to 4,628 subtract 1,461 is 3,167. Whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, are you subscribed? There's loads of videos like this on this channel. Press the subscribe button so you don't miss out. Let's get back to the video. Okay, let's look at another example. And actually, I can just see I've made a mistake here. This is obviously supposed to be subtraction. So let's put my titles in place. Ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. And I can see I have 4,821 subtract 3,219 put my answer row and I'm ready to begin and straight away I can see a problem because my first question is 1 subtract 9 well if I have one apple can I take away 9 no I can't and can I just flip this question around and just say 9 subtract 1 why not well that would be breaking a very important rule of subtraction which is that subtraction is not commutative it's really important to do the question in the order it's asking 1 subtract 9 is very different to 9 subtract 1. So I can't do that. I have to do 1 subtract 9. 
And the only way to do that is by looking next door into the tens column, seeing that I have two tens. So I'm gonna borrow one of the tens, put that down to a one, put my borrowed 10 in front of my one. Now I have 11 subtract nine, and 11 subtract nine is two. So the answer in the answer row for my ones would be a two. Now my next question is looking at my 10, and I have 110 subtract 110, that obviously equals no tens. Now in my hundreds, I have 800 subtract 200, that equals 600. And finally, my thousands, 4,000 subtract 3,000 equals 1,000. So my answer to 4,821 subtract 3,219 is 1,602. Simple. Let's look at what to remember. Always put your column titles on the top of your question. This will help you just avoid any small mistakes. Then we're going to start with our smallest value. So in this case, we were starting with our ones. And then subtraction is not commutative. This is really important. If we can't do one of our mini questions, we will need to borrow from next door. So your turn. Here are two questions for you. 2,648 subtract 1,461 and 3,242 subtract 1,898. Take your time, have a go at working these questions out, press pause on the video, and then put your answers in the comment section. I'm gonna make sure I mark them all. Press pause, good luck. And there you go, guys. That is how to subtract large numbers. Hopefully, this video has been helpful for you. If it has, head on over to themathshelter.com where you're going to find loads more videos like this all in sequence so you'll know exactly what to do next. But for now, guys, I'll see you in another video. Peace out.